Hi, welcome back to the Special Pack uh, YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to share um, why I'm really happy with the Nikon Coolpix camera as a camera for dry photography. And first of all, I'd like to mention that if you click through any of the links in the description below, or if you follow my blog post connected to this video, I will also share a link in the description below. If you buy on Amazon this uh, camera, I will get a small commission to that. But uh, I'm not sponsored in any way by Nikon or something like that. It's just my personal experience. I'm really happy with that camera for a variety of reasons I'm going to share in this video. So there are a lot of different cameras for scuba diving. And of course, the re I have a few good reasons why I use this camera as um, someone who travels, who dive travels a lot, or when I worked as an instructor. Uh, th this camera has a few features why I'm really happy with this one and why I prefer this one above other adventure cameras. Uh, and of course, it does not, it's not to compare with a professional dive camera. And I used to have a Olympus with a housing. The problem with that was that at one point the housing broke and the model by that time was all getting already a bit older and I couldn't buy a new house for that camera. If you have a camera, a dive camera, uh, which you use with a separate house, the housing normally is as expensive as the camera. So you, if, if something breaks, either the camera or the housing, um, so you're either stuck with an expensive house without a camera or you're stuck with a camera without the housing. Um, and this was for me a really big reason why I at some point decided to travel with the Nikon Coolpix because um, I've been working as a diving instructor. You already, every instructor knows you already have to carry your own scuba diving gear. You have a lot of equipment equipment already and you have to keep the housing and the camera also in your hand luggage so it was just a big hassle for me and also when I didn't work as an instructor anymore I just went like backpacking or dive traveling through Southeast Asia like in the Philippines sometimes I was on really small boats I already worry a bit about my laptop I don't also want to worry about my camera and the housing so for me it just saved a lot of tr a lot of problems a lot of worrying and I'm also a person who Sometimes I'm not so handy, so I drop things or things break and you don't want to have that with a very expensive camera. So it depends on the person. It really depends on your kind of um, underwater photography. If you travel a lot, the way, yeah, it depends on you, how you travel, what, how you dive, where you go. It depends on everything. But for me, as somebody who also likes the backpack, who likes to travel a lot, it does give good photos for me in my experience. So I just show this camera again. It's very handy, it's very compact, it's light weighted, uh, and I connected this thing to connect it to my VCD. That's why, but if you don't do that, you just have, this is a camera, okay? And um, you don't need a housing if you go scuba diving till 30 meters. And that's what for me made a real big difference in buying this one. For example, other adventure cameras on the market, the Olympus Tough can go to 15 meters, 15 meters without a housing and the Fujifilm Fimepix can go to 25 meters, but this one goes to 30 meters or 100 feet without a housing. So that's really good and something that I'm really happy about. So that was actually the first reason I this camera really grabbed my attention. 30 meters, 30 or 100 feet without housing. Perfect for me. Second thing, it has a built-in flash and a built-in LED light. So you don't need an external flashlight like you need sometimes with some GoPros. By the way, I'm talking about on the world of photography because I think for filming you're much better off with a GoPro. But there's a few reasons I prefer this one for photography above uh, a GoPro and that's one of them. Um, it also has a macro mode for underwater photography. There's like two underwater settings on this camera. And then you also get macro mode. 
So that's perfect if you like to take pictures of some macro life, slugs, nudie branches, smaller fish life, and it's pretty good. I will I'll try to add in some photos in the end of the videos, but otherwise check out the blog post. I already uploaded some photos in that one. It has a five-time optimal zoom function, so you can zoom in quite well. Not all GoPros have that. I think the newer models have, but I don't know. So, but even though the GoPro is better for filming, this one also has a 4K Ultra HD video camera. So it does make pretty good videos, although they're not to compare with GoPro. They're also not bad. So I have uh, on my YouTube channel my underwater videos. I either I either grab the adventure camera like a GoPro or this one. So in the post uh, on my website, you can also see the videos I made with this camera. Okay, so you can check that out. And it's uh, shockproof, freezeproof, ma till minus 10 degrees Celsius and dustproof because it's very uh, protected. So it's a very tough camera. You can drop it on the floor, it doesn't break. So it's pretty good for traveling. It's lightweighted. It's very small, as you see. This is my hand. Um, and it's compact. This is the Nikon Coolpix W300. Okay, I'll show you a bit better. But it doesn't really matter because if you'd like to buy it, you can check all the specs on Amazon as well. You can have better view of that. Okay, so the conclusion for me that I'm really happy with this camera is that it has... Um, that you can take it, in contrast to most other adventure cameras, you can take it to 30 meters without housing, 100 feet. Uh, it has a macro mode, five times zoom. Built-in flashlight and a built-in LED light. So you don't need to buy any other accessories for this one separately. Um, it has a 4K ultra video mode, time lapse, and it's shockproof. And it records stereo sound, so it's great for filming. It is lightweight, compact, and tough, which makes it perfect for traveling and perfect to just easily take with you if you work as a scuba diving instructor. So it's a very good camera, it's easy to take with you, and you don't have to worry about it. And besides of that, it's also a great camera for any other adventure sport. So even if you don't want to, like if you have a dive camera with a housing and you go rafting or kayaking or whatever kayaking maybe not but if you do a bit of more of extreme sport you don't want to take your dive camera on these things so if you like to do other activities next to scuba diving it's great because you can also film it for other adventure sports uh, like i said it's minus freeze proof till minus 10 so you can use it for a lot of things um, it doesn't break you can just easily put it somewhere in your hand luggage and you don't have to worry about it so for me it's a really great camera like I said, I've written a blog post about this. Check out the description in the link below. And please subscribe to my channel uh, for more information about uh, dive travel, tips when I worked as an instructor, um, destinations, tourism, sustainable tourism. I also still working on videos about Azores, my last travels I went to. 
which is beautiful. And I'm also working on a blog post and a video about seven reasons why scuba diving is a very spiritual activity. So please subscribe or check out my blog post. It's www.splashpacker.com. And stay tuned. Okay, happy balls. Bye-bye.